What is God telling you? Remember, we are the light of the world. And it's telling you that our light will not just brighten, but it will become a fire. A fire. And then it says, and it will devour the Assyrian thorns and prayers in one day. We're about to consume, destroy those things that the Antichrist spirit so that all the works of darkness in the nations of the world these works of deception doesn't matter what forces are behind them doesn't matter that they use the media The Bible says the lying tongue is only for a short time. The lying tongue cannot be successful. And in the day of the church, where the spirit of truth has been released and poured out upon us, and this spirit of truth is at work throughout the world, the power of deception cannot prevail because this is the day of the ministry of the spirit of truth and we live and function by the spirit of truth and we are releasing truths into all nations truths by the gospel that we preach truths And deception cannot stand against this power of truth. The day of deception will come where the whole world will be deceived. That day is not today. That day is not today. The gospel shall have free course in every country. Because this is the day of grace and this is the day of the church. And we insist on it with the power of the Holy Ghost. He told us be filled with the Spirit. And we are filled with the Spirit. Filled with the Spirit. And whatever is born of God overcomes the world. And we have overcome the world. And this is God's truth that will not be changed. It is His truth. We have overcome the world. We have overcome the world. Speaking of the tongues, go ahead and pray in the Holy Ghost. Pray in the Holy Ghost. We are born of God. We have overcome the world. We have overcome all the works of darkness. It says, for this purpose, the Son of God was manifested that he might destroy the works of the devil. Their works are paralyzed. Their works are frustrated. The evil works of the World Economic Forum in every nation are paralyzed. In the name of the Lord Jesus, because they are works of deception. The deception of world leaders is brought to naught in the name of the Lord Jesus. Pray in the Holy Ghost everywhere. Pray in the Holy Ghost. Pray in the Holy Ghost. 
Hello beloved, welcome back to our YouTube channel. I brought you an interesting video from Pastor Chris. And this is what the man of God has concerning the world and also the nation of Nigeria. And I urge us to watch this video attentively and repeat it over and over again. If you're somebody that you're not used to Pastor Chris's message, you will not really understand what he's saying, but I'm here for you. And before I start the video, please, if you have not subscribed to our channel, can you pause this video? subscribe comment like share with family and friends so that you don't miss out on any of our content and also don't forget to turn on the post notification to get notified when i upload a new video and if you're a returning subscriber i want to use this opportunity to say a very big thank you thank you for always tuning in thank you for always being part of this lovely family and also don't forget to leave a comment after hearing what the man of god has to say and please do well to share this video on all social media platforms whatsapp youtube TikTok, facebook and so on and so forth but please do it to share make sure that it get to a lot of people so let's get into today's video first of all the man of god talks about the affairs of the dark covens hovering around the world people plotting against the children of god against the kingdom of god one thing we should be rest rest assured is that see god is in control and this is not the day of deceit this is the day of truth that is what the man of god is trying to like tell us explain to us and all that we shouldn't be worried we shouldn't be shaked no matter what is happening no matter what they have gone to cook no matter what they have gone to do what they have gathered to discuss one thing is that see any gathering that is not of the lord would definitely scatter any agenda that is not of god's agenda would definitely scatter one thing you should be rest assured is that see with god all things are possible and one thing you need to know is that god is in control at all times so the man of god is trying to tell us that we should be calm and in as much as we need to pray in as much as we need to call on god but we should also be calm because see the storm is over and the children of god are going to prevail over darkness see definitely things will happen because the things that are happening this year let's say it started from about eight years ago since nigeria became um a country that we were complaining things were getting worse and it's not just nigeria but the world at large if you see other countries and see the things that is happening to them as in nigeria being in nigeria you will actually start jubilating and say that oh thank god it did not come to the shores of nigeria okay brazil for example do you know what is happening there there's a massive uh, flood that they have never recorded in their history before it's happening currently this 2024 okay look at what happened in dubai when the downpour happened and all that and sometimes you see it you feel like oh all these things are just just things that just happen or coincidence or it's natures and all that no that is the work of the devil but it's not happening to us yes we know that there are a lot of things that are happening in nigeria currently but when you looked at some things that is happening around the globe you see that okay yes the children of zion are actually in this country the children of god the prayer of people do not drop to death ear nor to rocks or stone or to a barren land it drops to the ear of god and god has been hearing our prayer answering them on daily basis minute basis hour basis second basis and all that week months years and all that but since it's not a thing that will affect our economic or make life easier for us in nigeria we feel like god is not in control or god is not doing anything my dear brothers and sisters there are things that happens in the realm of the spirit that you and i don't even understand we don't have a clue we don't have any idea concerning what is happening because god did not open your eye to see that so you should be grateful that you are alive and you should be grateful that we have men and women of god like those people to always tear up our 
spirit whenever it is down because it's not easy honestly it's not easy to to be in this world to even be in this generation and all that see things are happening left and right you see things that are are so bad that does not glorify the name of the lord it's things that people see as normal things and all that and for you to be a christian and you're living in this generation it's by the grace of god that you pass every second hours minutes and days and weeks and months and all that you survive it so you should give glory to god and that is what the man of god is trying to say he says he sees god's armies and all that and we should always renew our mind and say that god is always in control and whatever is happening around the world will not come to our shore neither will it come to our country see this kind of prices of commodities are rising dollar is rising here and there it's just the work of the enemy but a day will come it will be over it's not far from them it can be over for you today it can be over for you in minutes and all that do you want to tell me as that as you're crying on daily basis people are not there rejoicing people are living their best of life in this 2024 that we are complaining that everything is hard in the midst of darkness make sure that your light shineth bright so that you over conquer the darkness that is how it's a period so there's no any magician there's no anybody to tell you that things need to go those way things need to go that way this is what the men of god are telling us and pay attention to listen to these messages very very careful so that it cannot just reflect in your life but in the life of those surround you're surrounding yourself with let your light shine yet bright so that is just it because what they are cooking, what organizations, peoples in top um, societies, in countries, are all that coming together, do you think it's for the agenda of the kingdom of God? No, it's not. But what can we say? What can we say as Christians? Let's learn how to pray and let's learn how to give glory to God when we need to give glory to Him. Because without Him, I don't think we will be here. But with God, all things are possible and that is just the major thing. So guys, that is the message I decided to bring your way today. And also don't forget to pray. Don't forget to put everything in the hands of God. Don't forget to commit your friends, your loved one into the hands of God. Because prayer is the key. Prayer is just the key to your solution to everything. But know when to do it truthfully. You shouldn't pray because you want God to do something for you. You shouldn't pray because you want God to open that door onto you. Pray because that is what is expected of you to do. So guys, that is it. Before I go, please, if you've not subscribed to our channel, kindly pause this video, subscribe, comment, like, share for family and friends and be part of this lovely family. And don't forget to turn on the post notification to get notified whenever I upload a new video. Thank you very much for watching this video. God bless you. And I will see you in the next one. Bye for now, guys. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.